So question number one of this first exercise gives us the line graph which shows the temperature of a patient in a hospital recorded every hour. So this is a line graph where the horizontal axis or the x-axis which is this one represents the time in hours and the y-axis which is the vertical axis represents the temperature in degree Celsius. So we'll have to observe this graph, this line graph and answer the questions that follows. Let us take each of the questions one by one. So question A asks us to find the patient's temperature at 1 p.m. So if we observe the horizontal axis, which is this point. So at 1 p.m. this is the point which represents the temperature at this time. And if we observe the vertical axis, so this is the point which is going to give us the temperature of the patient at this time. Now, since this point is equidistant from 36 and 37, we definitely can conclude that at 1 p.m. the patient's temperature was 36.5 degrees Celsius. Let us now move on to question number B where we need to answer the time when the patient's temperature was 38 degrees Celsius. Now, if we carefully observe the vertical axis, so this is the point where the patient's temperature would be 38.5 degrees Celsius, which gives us this point. And if we observe the horizontal axis, the time when the patient's temperature was was 38.5 degrees Celsius comes out to be 12 noon. Let us now move on to question C. Now in this question, the, it's given that the patient's temperature was the same two times during the period given. Let us now observe the horizontal axis to see what are those two times when the patient's temperature was the same? So if we observe, we see that at 1 p.m. and at 2 p.m. These are the two temperatures at these times. And we see that both the at both the times, the temperature of the patient was the same, which if we observe the y-axis or the vertical axis, we'll see that it's 36.5. So to answer this question, the two times when the temperature of the patient was same are 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. Now moving on to question D, which asks us to find the temperature at 1.30 p.m. Now, if we observe that from the previous question itself, we saw that between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m., the temperature of the patient was 36.5 degrees Celsius. So since it's constant between this R, we can definitely say that at 1.30 p.m., the temperature of the patient was 36.5 degrees Celsius. And to reason out this answer, we can say that between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m., the temperature of the patient was constant, which we can get from this line in the graph. Moving on to the last question, question E, which asks us to find the periods when the patient's temperature showed an upward trend. So if we observe the graph, we will have to look out at the points where there was an increase in the patient's temperature. So the first increase will be observed between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. So I will mark this as one. Then between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. We see that this is the second increase in the patient's temperature. Again, if we observe this part, between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. This is the third instance when the patient's temperature 
increased. Hence, to answer this question, the three time periods when the patient's temperature increased was 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. The second one would be 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And the third time period would be 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. So these are the different questions which was answered by observing this graph. And this is how we can answer this first question of this exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.